Hey, what's going on guys? This is Destiny Heroic, and I'm here today with my uh, latest deck profile. This is Aquaforce, focusing entirely on the Maelstrom Crossride. So, uh, to start things off, uh, obviously, uh, four Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom and the uh, Reverse Crossride, Blue Storm Karma Dragon Maelstrom Reverse. Uh, so the reason I wanted to go with this and not with something like uh, Transcore Dragon or Glory Maelstrom because um, Glory Maelstrom, while he's got a good effect, he needs to wait until Limit Break 5 and I don't like leaving my good effects until, I'm, uh, until the point where I'm almost dead. So, uh, and I find that Maelstrom Reverse, um, he's got a good effect that you can activate at Limit Break 4, and he's constantly drawing you a card or dealing a whole bunch of damage. So, his effect is, um, on the fourth attack, you can counterblast a card and lock a standing rear guard. That's important. Uh, the rear guard has to be standing. Uh, meaning you have to rest it and then lock it, so it has to be standing when you attack. Um, he gains 5,000 and a crit, and then if he and if the attack doesn't hit, you draw a card and destroy one of their rear guards. Um, so that's a really good effect. Um, it's either it's a it's a really poor deal when the opponent has to deal with it. Um, it's, they either take a whole bunch of damage or they lose a rear guard and you gain a card. So it's a high pressure card that really works well at, towards the end of the game. Um, and because all of my grade three uh, units are Maelstroms. Uh, my starter is obviously Blue Storm Cadet Marios. Uh, if he boosts an attack that hits the Vanguard on the third attack, uh, you search the top five cards for a Maelstrom. So basically, um, you're gaining a grade. Th you're, you're doing a grade three search on the third attack as often as you can. This works really well because this is an effect that you can do repeatedly. He doesn't go into the soul. Um, so if you're a grade stuck and you have a bunch of chump cards, you can uh, spend a couple of turns, a couple of turns where you can attack, uh, searching the top cards for a uh, for a grade three. So that's really useful. Um, in terms of grade ones, um, I'm using Wheel Assault. Wheel Assault is really good in any Aqua Force deck. Uh, if you boost uh, at the end of the at the end of the battle, you can uh, counterblast one and swap and swap positions of two Aquaforce on the field. Um, a play set of uh, Pascal's Emerald Shields. Um, this deck doesn't really synergize well with the uh, with the Quintet Wall, so I'm not using any copies. Um, the uh, Grade 1 10k, um, I'm using two copies of Jellyfish Soldier, which is uh, Soul Blast 2 and unflip damage, unflip two damage, because over the course of the game, this the uh, the counterblast requirements of this deck can add up quite a bit, and freeing up two counterblast towards the end of the game is very valuable. Um, and as a single tech card, I'm using te one Tempest Blader. Um, when you call it, add three K attack to a uh, a Blue Storm unit on the field, so it can be your Vanguard, it can be a Rear Guard. Usually, it'll, it'll be a Rear Guard. Um, and for grade twos, I'm using uh, three copies of Tidal Assault. Um, Tidal Assault is really good. He's two attacks just on his own. Um, the attacks won't always hit, but at least he can uh, he can increase the number of attacks very easily. Um, and this guy, uh, Blue Storm Marine General Spiros. Um, this is one of the things you'd want to add uh, 3K uh, to with the Tempest Blader. Um, if it's the first or second attack after he attacks the Vanguard, you can counterblast a Blue Storm and stand it. Um, so this is just another unit that you can use to increase the number of attacks. Um, using two tech copies of uh, Carlos, which is the damage unflipper. Um, like I said, uh, the counterblast gets eaten up uh, slowly but surely in this deck, so freeing it up at some point during the game is very valuable. And to round out the grade twos, uh, three copies of the 12k Gregorius. Um, so for uh, triggers, obviously for heals, I'm using uh, six stand triggers and six critical triggers. No draw triggers. Um, I dropped the draw triggers because um, 
The Marios effect in combination with uh, Reverse Maelstrom uh, will end up uh, adding a lot of cards to your hand. So the draw triggers uh, have don't have as much use. Um, and, in, and this way, when you get a trigger, it will always have a 10k shield instead of a 5. Um, I'm using four copies of Supersonic Sailor because he's another damage unflipper, except you, put up, you have to put him in the soul. Um, and I maxed out on the uh, Blue Storm stand trigger over the Mass Production Sailor because I have a couple of S Special Counterblasts in the deck and I need to have as many of those of my damage cards uh, to be Blue Storm cards. So that's the deck. Uh, it's a it's a pretty good build. Um, at the time of my recording this, Fighter's Collection is not out. Um, and I wanted to record this before Fighter's Collection because this deck is going to change a bit when the Fighter's Collection does happen. Um, but I'll probably do another deck profile with the changes. And uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you what the changes are when that comes out. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave any comments below and uh, don't forget to... Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Peace.